Taking a look here at exercise 3-7b on page 353, we're seeing that we have five employees. They earn each of them $1,050 per week. So as we're looking at what is the requirement here in this exercise with the employee's total OASDI and the employee's total HI, our employer's OASDI and employer's total HI, how are they different? Well, for the, o, for the employee side of this, we'll be taking the taxable wages of $1,050 times the tax rate for OESDI is 4.2%. And then once we get that total, we will take it times the five employees for the total that we have here. For the M employee HI, we do the same thing, where it's that taxable wages times 1.45%, and we get a total that then we take times 5. The reason that we must separate this out per employee is, as we're going to see here in just a moment, if we need to round these numbers in here, then it needs to be done before we multiply it times 5. So for the OASDI for each employee, we have $41.10. Then we can multiply that times our 5 to get a total amount of OASDI withheld of $220.50. For the HI portion of this, when we multiply that 1050 times 1.45 percent, we get 15.225 for each employee, and that has to be rounded before we move on. So this rounding is 15.23 times the 5. Rounding for payroll must take place at every level. So once we have that rounded, take it times five, seventy six dollars and fifteen cents. However, for the employer, we're looking at the total amount of wages that is taxable. So for the employer, we're looking at one thousand fifty dollars for each employee and we've got five employees times that taxable rate, OASDI at six point two percent. And for HI, it's that $1,050 that's taxable for each employee, and we have five employees times that 1.45%. Now, for OASDI, the amount, because it's at a different rate than the employee, $325.50. And the HI, because of rounding that we had in, for our employees, we're only having to pay as an employer 76.13. And it has to do with the rounding that took place right in here. So that's the situation that we have with exercise number seven, showing that for the employee side, we need to calculate the tax, the tax before we multiply times the number of employees. Whereas for the employer, we get the total taxable wages, meaning we take e each individual wage and add them together and multiply that times the rate. So again, I'm going to say it again. For the employee, we have to be individual employee. We have to consider what the tax is. This part right here. Whereas for the employer, we have to look at the total for our taxable wages times that rate. Questions or problems? Let me know.